Hey guys, today instead of a regular tutorial, a handy resource. As you can see here, I have created 10 vivid gradients in my Affinity Designer. Now I'm going to show you how we can save your own gradients into swatches, so you can use them in next project or even across different apps because they are compatible. So if you make gradients in Affinity Designer, you can then use that in Affinity Photo and Affinity Publisher as well. I will also drop a link to my gradients from this video so you can download them for free from my Patreon. Alright, so how can we do that? First you need a shape, then you apply the gradient on it. I already did this part, so I got 10 different gradients. I click on the first one and now I head to the top right to swatches. I got this default one here. I don't want to mess it up, so I will create the whole new group for those gradients. So I'm going to click here on this hamburger menu and I'm going to create a new palette. So I'm adding a document palette. I will name it. And as you can see, we got this empty space. Now I can always go back to the official palette, the previous one, no problem, but my New custom palette is at the top, vivid gradients, now it's empty, so I simply click on the gradient I want to add, and then there's this button here, add a current fill to the palette. And here it is the first one. So I repeat this step with all 10 gradients. All right, I got 10 gradients loaded here. So what will happen if I have a new shape like this? Then I can click on the gradient from here and very quickly apply the new gradient on it. Remember, you can also customize them. If you hit the gradient tool, you will see how gradient is lay on it. So you can change the angle. We can even change the type of the gradient here. All right, so feel free to play with them. And you can even save this as the new swatch if you think that you're going to like this new version more or you're going to use it often. You can also go to this little color preview and modify colors or add a new colors simply by clicking here double tap on the line and you will have a chance to add a brand new color to the gradient all right so now important part now we want to save this palette so then we can always import this in whatever we need it and we can also use it across all three apps actually across all six apps, as we can also use that on iPad. So let's click here the hamburger menu. And now I'm going to export this palette. And that's it. I already saved the version of the palette on my hard drive. I will upload this quickly and drop the link in the description so you can download and load it. How can you load it? Let me remove this palette so I can show you. So I'm going to delete this palette. Confirm. OK. And now I head here. Hamburger menu. Import. And then you can import as application, document or system palette. Let's stick with the document palette. So I have selected the file I just saved. I click open. And here it is. The palette is again in my program. I mentioned it can be cross-used, so let's try it out straight away in Affinity Publisher. So here I am in Publisher, I'm going to Swatches here, and it's very same process, Hamburger menu. Now we want to import the same palette, and here it is. So as you can see, it's a universal resource that you can share across all programs in the Affinity family. All right, I hope this resource will be helpful. You can download for free. The link is in the description. I will see you in the next one.